This video covers installing a camshaft in my LS1. But before that, make sure to check out my previous video on cleaning and prepping the engine block. And a word of warning, I am not an LS expert. I can and will probably make mistakes, so please keep that in mind as you watch these videos. To start off, I checked the cam journal tolerances. Since they were in spec, I then wiped the cam off with some acetone. Install the camshaft into the block, adding oil on the journals as we go. It's important not to damage the cam bearings or the cam lobes on install, so go slow. Some people might ask about the cam bearings. You see, with an LS, the cam bearings are always good, unless you look at them. It's like magic. I used a 3 8 extension and a bolt to help me get good leverage on the camshaft. Add some oil to the cam retaining plate gasket, then install it on the block. Add some Loctite on the bolts. Torque the bolts to 11 pound-feet. The next step is to remove the old crank sprocket. I used a small pulley puller that I rented from a parts store. Wipe off the crank and add some fresh oil to the surface. Install the new crank sprocket in the same orientation as the old one that came off. I used the old sprocket and damper bolt to install the new sprocket. I used a feeler gauge to check and see if there was a gap behind the sprocket. The timing chain damper goes on next. Use the cam gear to line up the timing notch at 6 o'clock. Install the new timing chain on the cam gear and line it up with the timing notches. The crank mark faces the 12 o'clock position while the cam gear faces the 6 o'clock position. Next, we will check the camshaft end play using a dial indicator. The GM spec is 2 to 12 thousandths. Mine was at 6.5 thousandths, so it's inside the acceptable range. Put some Loctite on the cam bolts. This will keep vibration from wiggling the bolts loose when the engine is running. Then torque the cam bolts to 26 pound feet per ARP's spec. The chain damper bolts are torqued to 18 pound feet. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for updates on new projects.